Greeting the red tide has become an annual tradition in Port Clovis. Every June, locals gather to watch the toxic algae bloom's sinister encroachment on the city's coastline and beaches. The third iteration of Pier 1 famously collapsed on the day it received historic landmark designation. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. Spacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bull.
With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. Sure, they'll stay in their lane. So we don't have a Planet of the Apes situation. Let's take that little thought. And it wasn't nothing but an itty bitty bone. The fact that he was afraid of that Ferris wheel, he told me he wasn't never gonna be no dog.
Time is running out for our shark. Hunters are on the water bringing their explosives and poor impulse control with them. The shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Toast of the Coast, Lieutenant Shannon Sims.
Only time will tell whether government actions can diminish Port Clovis' reputation as a shark attack hotspot. It takes three hours of training and eight dollars to become a licensed shark hunter, though very few bother with this formality. Another shark hunt draws to a close. No such thing as a recession-proof business, except for the frozen banana stand. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains a constant. around its neck tightens, thanks to a crack team of shark hunters. Yelling at me to sail faster.
of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. in boat ownership manifests itself in a variety of ways here in Port Clovis. America's largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybell Bryant, has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Beach.
right under me. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark for now. Stalk their prey, fully aware of the grisly horrors that await them upon a single misstep. Do me a favor and head out to Sapphire Bay. No more shark attacks on my watch. Let's go. Mama Maybell, but she always give me a fair price on feelings.
Hunter have kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and straight. As is well known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection.
parrotfish's mouths feature a pharyngeal mill, specialized teeth located in its throat. Man's tendency to anthropomorphize them into lovable cartoon characters belies the fact that sea turtles are ornery creatures that can bite through bone. Scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. People paid over $12,000 to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire weekend. Aging shark never fails to attract interest. Sapphire Bay with a shark situation. Rev those engines. Another shark down. I'll wait.
Men's attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. For its prey, sharks frequently make onstage appearances when not in the script and without cues. Subject of a county life shark. Wants to avoid intestinal injuries, she will return to the water. When a shark dies, everything but its teeth are slowly dissolved by the briny ocean. Initially a remote fishing village, state and county authorities paid scant attention to Port Clovis, allowing it to become a thriving hub of sex tourism. Evolutionary anomaly, the hammerhead.
overcoming her opponent's clearly superior depth perception. As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. Well, you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that, just to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Boy, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. But, I just say, maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings. Ready, boy. Now we play with power. Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. Ah! Big enough to toss him now, ain't you? Can! Get that can! Down, sir! Pete, get to one! Go! 
Don't get him, boss! He's just a boss! What remains of the boat lurches, then slowly sinks to the bottom of the sea. The shark is now an elder, and thus begins a new battle against systemic age discrimination. Prosperity Sands features glittering white beaches fenced off for the sole enjoyment of the ultra-rich, mega-rich, and super-rich. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. This trimaran, like many before it, was lost in its journey to the mythological dry land. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. A shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. The 
ocean waters are driven constantly by tides, currents, even the self-driving technology of Gazorpazor is not without its reliability concerns. Local resorts have responded. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. entrepreneur will spot these three shells while snorkeling and revolutionize after toilet care. Quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality.
pulling off a successful casino heist is made even harder when you drive off the road into the ocean and drown. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Stage capitalism. Clovis considered removing these naval mines after the war, but the city had already spent its annual budget booking a Nickelback cover band for the 4th of July. summer, Port Clovis plays host to the Megasonic Electro Carnival, giving a real boost to the local MDMA years. of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. 